Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Dawn of Man. We're taking another look at this game because it's been quite some time since I've taken a look at it. Last time, we built a wonderful city on a river, and it went really well. And then after that, we went to the Northlands to build in the Frozen Settlement, and that didn't go as well. So if you love yourself some city builders, this is the game for you. Dawn of Man is the prehistoric city builder that I showcased many months ago, and there's been many updates, including a spiritual update, and a combat update coming very soon. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new games here. I've already done the tutorial, but uh, so as you can see, we're getting a fresh start here. We went to the North uh, Lands last time. It didn't go so well, but apparently there's also an Ancient Warriors uh, scenario that we can do too by unlocking all 10 milestones here. So we've got to complete all these goals in order to unlock all these milestones, and then eventually we can unlock the Ancient Warriors and take a look at that. So if you want to see more of this game, show your support, get excited. The game is available now on PC on Steam, so check it out for additional pricing wherever you may live. We've also taken a look at a few of the other challenges too, so if you'd like to see how any of these work, uh, just check the channel where I've already played through a lot of these, including Temple of the Sun, Long March, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's get started and build ourselves a new settlement. Uh, most of these are familiar, I believe, before we built in the Forest River, and I think that's really the greatest map to build the largest city possible, and knowing you guys, you like to see big O cities with walls around them, so I think we'll do that one again. But with the new update, we'll be able to build a lot more things, and we'll be able to do them differently. You know, of course, things have been balanced differently, so it's a fresh start. And a game that I haven't played for a very long time, so it feels like a first playthrough again. Alright, well, let's go ahead and start with, uh, let's see, what are the options? Hardcore or normal? Oh, I guess we'll start with normal, and uh, we'll just go ahead and call it uh, Rat Pack. Actually, let's call it Raptoria. There we go. Alright, perfect. Let's go ahead and start this game and get into some Dawn of Man. Here we go. Oh yes, the woolly mammoths. Those are going to be a real threat, including the woolly rhinos that we can encounter too. But the cool thing is, is if our clan is able to cut them down, we get tons of meat. And welcome everybody to our wonderful forest settlement. Kind of looks strange. I remember these lands, but they're all full of trees again. We'll have to get cutting those down ASAP. All right, well, we can do fishing, we can do hunting, we can do farming. I guess first we'd better start by uh, going and uh, grabbing some food. We first need to be able to gather raw skin in order to make, uh, oh wow, somebody just walking right through town. Hello. Well, this is going to be easy. Hi there, sir. Would you like to meet our spear? There we are. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and grab that meat. Somebody's going to go on that. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, gain knowledge by doing all sorts of different tasks like logging and uh, fishing and uh, skinning animals. So we unlock more technology. So I'm going to try to go get one of these things too. What are these? The uh, Oh yes, the Oro Orochus. Whatever, however you pronounce it, we're going to go grab one of those. Is somebody cutting that? Yep, good. All right, let's send the whole camp out. So the beginning first year, very important to uh, immediately start building structures when you can. And also uh, so that we can expand your uh, little camp. All right, let's go ahead and rotate here. C and Z to rotate, good. Uh, I'm getting the hang of it all over again. I know we also have our uh, like prehistoric vision too, which I think is this button, primal tab. There we go. So everything that's valuable to us is highlighted in some sort of color. We see an animal up there, for example. Uh, we see trees where we can gather um, something for tanning. I forget exactly what it's called. Tannin, I think it's called. And then also uh, different types of uh, minerals, such as copper, iron. Uh, I think there's maybe coal. I, I can't quite remember. I think this one's... That's tin ore. So we can eventually go into the Bronze Age and such. All right, our camp is rolling out. Let's go ahead and designate some working areas, too. Gathering sticks is very important. Uh, let's see, shift to place multiple, and C and Z to change size. Let's start with something very small, maybe over... Actually, I can't remember, does it highlight the sticks if you... Oh, here they are, yep. So we'll go gather some sticks over there, and we'll start gathering some rocks too. Oh, perfect, we're in a battle now! With some crazy, angry animals. Get them, boys! Good job. Alright, hey, we were just going to have one of them, but if you want to join the fight... Oh, here we go! Cops are on their way. Nice. Wow, that man was in a hurry to go get, grab sticks. <laughs> I'm on my way. Okay, I got him. And he's just carrying sticks away. Like, we thought you were coming to the fight. Uh oh. These animals could uh, come back for the attack. We're not too much of a threat yet, but at least we've started our camp construction. More people will join us soon. So this is where we're going to build, I think, maybe a walled city. And before we built a bridge across to the other side, and we also built another city over here... But maybe this time we could build two cities that are kind of separate, but maybe interact with each other, and we can be in control of both of them. There's also some nice area down here to build another settlement with... Ooh, look at that. We could move the entire camp down here, too, and build yet another city 
on this side and can be completely independent from the other one. So maybe we can do that. Maybe we'll build two cities there and then a third city down there. Lots of potential in this game for sure. All right, so back to the camp we go. And we see a little uh, little baby there. We'll have to learn animal husband husbandry and such. How do we do on knowledge points? So looks like we need five in order to unlock some basic stuff. Looks like there's some new things here. Stone carving appears to be new. I don't remember that from before. Knitting or netting? Oh, netting for fish traps. That's new as well. And there's some new spiritual buildings too. So I could have, of course, played off of an old save, but that would have been boring. It's good to start fresh. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit then while everybody's gathering uh, all the materials from that body and then also making another tent. Oh, we actually need to have... Oh, that's right. We can't use raw skin. We actually have to make a... Uh, dr skin dryer. So let's go ahead and make a couple of those. Actually, if I hold shift, I think I can put down multiple ones. So we'll start with two for now. Alright, off to a good start. Uh, which one is that thing? Under storage? Production. There it is. Okay, two of those are down. Let's build ourselves another... Let's see, residences are good for now. Maybe a storage tent would be a good item to get up. Let's go ahead and put that over here. And then we'd also like to put down an area for rocks to be stored. So we better start gathering those too. So let's find some rocks to gather. I think that's a good pile right there, is it not? Can't quite remember what they look like if you can gather them. Oh, right there. Perfect. Oh, wait, or is that... Oh, that's for gathering um, flint. Right, so that way we can make cutting tools out of that. Good. Very good. Oh, the music is seemingly new. I don't remember this song. Good, it's good to take a first fresh look at it again. And let's assign one more person. We don't want to do too many jobs because, oh, there's something about productivity, too. I forget exactly how to see that. Uh, let's see. Game menu. Manage, I think it is. Manage productivity. Status, resources, limits, charts, defenses, tech, domestic animals, milestones, activity, and tasks. I think it's under tasks. So workload right now is at 71%. So we want to keep things around 100 to make everybody as efficient as possible. So let's try to assign one more person to fishing. And I think we might be able to do basic fishing, because some of our people have spears. So let's head down down here and grab some fish. And let's make another item for drying fish, I think. There's a way to do that. Oh, we have to require that. So we'll have to unlock food drying first. So we have a hearth now, we have a crafter here. So let's go ahead and start making some stuff. Uh, we certainly are going to want to make... Um, well, it looks like we're doing fine with the wooden spears, but let's create a couple of harpoons for fishing. And then, of course, a few clothes, too, for the year, for additional people to join us. We start with seven people, and I think they join us two or three at a time, depending on how our reputation of our camp is. Right now it's about a... that's a little, little chilly out, 14 degrees Celsius with a little bit of rain. And it is only early spring, so we'll need to kind of pay attention to that. But not much we can do right now as we have limited people. So we'll just get the basics done. And I believe in this game, just like in uh, Foundation, just like in Ostrieve, uh, wherever people are walking is where they'll make paths. Let's see if there's other things that we can make. How do we unlock more stuff? Composite tools. So we have to do some more hunting. The biggest thing we can do now to unlock more stuff is to hunt a different animal each time. And that will unlock more for us. So this here, we've already hunted a couple of those. So if we can go out on a big hunt for a big animal, that'll unlock some more knowledge for us. So if a woolly rhino or a woolly mammoth happens to walk by, then we can go ahead and hunt it for some big points. There's something there. Ancient bison. Let's go ahead and drop everything and just get everybody hunt that for the research points. For the knowledge points, they're heading over. Everybody's grabbing a spear. And this is some early cereals here, barley. So we can actually gather that before farming. And it looks like that animal is... He's running! Battle it out, boys. Oh, boy. Somebody's low on health. Thunderon is uh, chasing him down. Is that a wolf? Uh-oh. Get out of there. No, no, no. Run, run, run. Don't die. Where did everyone else go? I thought I told everyone else to grab a spear. I think this is just a child, yeah. You take the day off. You've had a you've had a long day. I thought everyone else was gonna help hunt. We gotta watch out for wolves too. All right, well we better. Uh, oh, we actually have unlocked our uh, one knowledge point. Good. Let's start researching. Bone tools would be helpful, but I think. 
Yeah, that'd be good. Then we can start making bone spears and things like that to go hunting a little better. So let's make some bone spears now. So let's actually cancel the two things that we're doing. Let's cancel everything. Go with two of these. And uh, two of these. So har two harpoons for fishing and two harpoons for... Better go with three for protecting ourselves. Yeah, throughout the run is going to be fine. Just a little, little water and a nap. It'll work. It'll be fine. It'll... Just take a salt tablet. You'll be okay. Wonderful little reindeer there. So once we get more weapons up, we can start hunting these animals. Luckily, since we're near the river, we'll be able to hunt them no problem. Is that a wolf? Just taking a little little sip next to a... Oh, he's hunting him down. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Is that a woolly mammoth I hear? Oh, that animal there. We were chasing that before. Oh, we got bears too. Alright, so we certainly got a lot of animals around here to watch out for. But we're preparing now for our... Uh, oh yeah, and by gathering stuff, we also get points too. So by gathering enough sticks, enough stone, enough animals, drying, cooking enough meat, that type of thing, we'll eventually unlock more stuff. So, oh, there we go. And it looks like the rest of the dried skins are coming over. Excellent. And we have somebody also doing the production here too. For Looks like we got two of the harpoons ready, so that's good for our fishermen. And then we'll create some spears for the next hunt. It'll take a little time, but we should be okay. So the next thing to no uh, take note of is these giant rocks out here. These are called monoliths. Or megaliths, sorry. And then we can make a monolith out of that. When we bring each one of those rocks back, we can actually stack them on top of each other to build something similar to Stonehenge. That's kind of a cool way to uh, construct things and show our dominance. Okay, we got 13 meat, 5 fish. That's really good. Some people kind of just standing around. We do have multiple jobs assigned, but maybe not enough materials to do it. However, gathering sticks and stones, though they make make bro make uh, break bones. Words something hurt. Can't remember everything about it. Right, let's go gather some more over here. Can I cancel this one then? Good. So we're gathering sticks and stones over here. Literally. Actually, wait a minute. That, that one's to gather flint. This one's to gather stone. So, perfect. Now we're gathering flint and stone and sticks. So, we do have building material unlocked. Doesn't look like there's a gathering area here. Let me assign a few more people to the... Oh, that's a smaller one. Let's go with the bigger one now. So, let's put two people on that. One person on flint and another two people on stone. There we go. Eventually, stone will be very much needed to build buildings. It's not as important now. Just kind of getting the hang of everything again from before. I think we can also do gathering, too, of uh, small berries. Can we not? Hunt, fish, collect, and harvest. Oh, yes. So we can get some uh, wild berries and things over here, too. Perfect. So we'll have plenty of food. So we got five fish, no meat. Obviously, they go through different types of food. The next thing we're going to research, then, after the summer is over. It is, yes, it is almost the end of the year, so we need to get ready because winter is coming. We're going to... Uh, do a little research on food dryers, which will allow us to... Uh, anything that we capture between now and the end of the year, we can dry it. And then uh, it'll be preserved for the winter. So let's see. Looks like there's a lot of animals over there. It looks like we built an, yet another tent, so now more people can move in. That'll allow us to get more uh, helping hands around here and get things rolling. Look at that. we got a lot of stone along the river. We're going to be able to make a medieval fortress. <laughs> and we're in the we're in the prehistoric era. All right, old man's just standing around. There's plenty of jobs to do. Looks like we're gathering some berries. I'll take some more people on that. But it is good to have a few people standing around just in case uh, an animal comes around. Then we can attack it. But I don't see anything worthy of our... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. The bear. All right, calling all cars. Let's get a bear. Have we uh, made some more weaponry? Yes, we've got... Lots of bone spears now. Looks like we've got uh, no more bones in storage. So let's grab everybody. Calling a big meeting. All right, everybody gather around. Big, big meeting. Beautiful thing about this game is when it does change to fall and winter, you can kind of see a change in both the lighting and also the trees. And it's just gorgeous. It just looks really cool. All right, let's try to get ourselves a bear. And then we'll try to... Oh, oh the wolves are... Oh, those are donkeys. Dead ass, though. Hello, Mr. Bear. Get him, boys. You better run. That's our first bear. Okay, go 
Alright, sneak up on the uh, other animal there. Got him. Wow, that was a one shot, one kill. Alright, good. That's plenty of meat now. And that's now one thing for the dryer. So let's head back to base quickly. Unlock the food drying and put down one of those too. So eventually we'll probably, in all likelihood, change up our camp when we can build more permanent structures. These structures are no can do for now. They're not. They're not very good. Actually, we might have. We might actually find a wo wo woolly mammoth or a rhino. So I'm gonna make a little bit more of those. Perfect. So yes, uh, wolves can attack us. All that can go towards research, and then of course with that research we can unlock new stuff, including the buildings, which will allow us to uh, cut down some more trees and then eventually clear out all this area. One for farming probably down here, like we had done before. I'd played this map before. We also will be attacked by raiders, so we need to be cautious about that. So let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit as the herds are making their way through. Almost winter. We just need enough food to survive, and with uh, only seven people or so, it won't it won't take too long. Eventually, we'll be able to make sleds and wagons and things to bring back more food, so luckily we're not too far from camp. Let's actually uh, stop that, whatever that is. A young, a young female, whatever. And we better actually focus on bringing meat back. There we go. Or or some construction. Looks like somebody's bringing over some more dried goods. Or uh, rather some wa raw skin and switching it out for dry ones. Also, the homes need maintenance performed on them too. So we constantly need to be hunting. Otherwise, our homes will fall into a dilapidation and won't be worth much in the winter. And we've also gathered a lot of bones now. Perfect. Off to a good start. Now, the update, by the way, for combat is not yet here, so we will see that a little later. I've uh, kind of started the series early, knowing that the developers will take a little time to release it, and so that gives us plenty of time uh, to build up our camp and then eventually unlock uh, whatever comes for combat, or we'll see it in the future. Regardless, this kind of kicks off the whole hype for a big new update and to take a look at what's new between our last playthrough and now. And Dawn of Man is a really good game that uh, just... It's fun to build something huge, come back later, and then, you know, build it again. Except now, of course, we'll see more and more updates and different things that we hadn't had before. And also the hearth, uh, I believe these families come to cook at the hearth. Even if the meat is dried, I think they actually cook from it, too. Okay, finally a food dryer is done. That is great. That allows us to also store some of the meat at the camp, too. So once it's dried, the families can come and grab from it. And we got our storage tent up as well. And looks like everything's drying nicely. Good job. More meat over there. Eventually, predators can come around and grab that meat. They'll, uh, if we're not careful, like a, a horse will come over and like get attacked by a wolf or something like that, and then other animals will come around and eat it. The same as if we just leave meat around. So hopefully, these characters, although there's not an area to uh, indicate that, I, I hope they're coming over. Yep, looks like people are coming over to pick that up. Let's also put a hunting ground around our camp. Anything that comes near, let's go ahead and attack. So if a wildebeest or something happens to walk through, or Barney or uh, Winnie the Pooh or something, it's just, bah, I'm going to hit him with a rock and then just put him right on the fire. It's brutal, but that's caveman times. You can't judge. Okay. Oh, also winter, or rather fall now, is a good time for harvest season of emmer, and other things like that. I just don't think we have the technology in order to make bread out of it. So we can gather things like that all day, but we don't yet know how to use it. And as you can see here, I accumulate three units of raw meat and berries and such. These are how we how we unlock our uh, milestones. And I think we gathered a few berries, but not a lot. Let's go ahead and set up another zone for gathering, though it is almost winter. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what is that? Hello, we got ourselves a woolly rhino. All right, calling all cars, calling all cars. Not to mention that that gives us the research points, so it's there's no time to be a no time to be a vegetarian in this game. Is that a boar? All right, let's go on the big hunt. Oh look, people who can't. Oh, these are the traders. Oh, I forgot all about this. Yes, trading. Uh, we can get uh, different types of meat. Hmm, what can we trade for? What is good for us? Some dried skins would be good for additional construction. And some cured meat would be nice for the... Well, you know what? We're about to kill a uh, woolly rhino, so that can hold off. And we will trade you... Let's see, the trade value is 13. So let's trade you a wooden spear. 
bones are actually kind of valuable. And there we go. Perfect. All right, let's go grab one of these animals now. Speed up time. I think we can also domesticate horses, too, so that's kind of cool. We can eventually have donkeys and then horses. Oh, there it is. The big battle. Good, we got him. Nice work. All right, I'm on the lookout for a woolly mammoth. If we see one of those come around, it's going to be calling all cars on that one, too. Looks like another research point unlocked, and I think it might be good to get... Hmm, composite tools sounds tempting. Tanning would also be useful, but to build a sling would allow us to do a lot greater hunting. So let's go for that one, especially since it's uh, almost winter. We can still hunt in the winter, so that'll be good. Let's make uh, four of those and some clothing. And we should have skin drying like crazy, yep. The dry each dryer can hold two skins, so that's four right there to uh, make and do maintenance on home. So what do we got for raw skins? Raw skin, dry skin, good. Seven clothes, yep, we'll need more clothes if somebody moves in town. Okay, looks good. Let's speed up time and let everything unfold. So we have room for 12 people in our town, so long as somebody drops by. Storage looks good. Residences look good. Stables for the horses. And winter has arrived. Oh, it's going to get very eerie now. Oh, of course, our skull pole. Let's put one of these near our uh, camp. For the people to pray to their ancestors. It's good to build more than one of those. And what is that symbol above his head? I believe that's disease. He's sick. So typically a little bit of rest and they'll be okay. Usually they'll lose all their health and then it'll pop right back up. As long as they don't die. Alright, we've got 20 meat. That's great. One fish. Or at least, uh... Oh, that's interesting. We have fishing tools and it actually sorts it. So we have uh, wooden harpoons, bone harpoons, fishing rods, and fishing traps. Which bring in a huge amount of fish. According to uh, what I read about the recent update. Oh, good. Look at all that meat and raw hides that can be brought in. Very good. Speed up time on our people. Oh, I hear a horse. Oh, it looks like they also use that to fuel the fire. I thought the hearth uh, functioned without any sort of uh, fuel. I thought it was just automatic, but apparently it needs some sticks, so that makes sense. All right, there goes our monuments now to our ancestors. Good. If we build one more of those, we get another research point, so that's good. So there it goes. And done. Good job, my man. Oh, I, uh, we don't get one for each. We have to build five now. So it goes one, five, ten, I think twenty then. And it keeps increasing. We should have another research point here in a minute. See, pottery is next. I think we'll go for more composite tools just to start building things out of using that flint and start making axes and things so we can cut down some trees. So winter is here. I'm actually not seeing any snow or anything like that, so we must be in a warmer climate. Though I know the game also has the uh, brutal... Uh, I forget the name of it. The, uh, the more difficult part of the game where the essentially... The winters are longer, the summers are shorter, and you won't have uh, as much time to prepare. Okay, well, two more people joined us, so now we have a population from 7 to 10, and we got another knowledge point. Let's go for those tools, then. Let's get some people making tools. Now's a great time. It is spring now. Boy, the winter is awfully short in this game. I must just be used to Austria or something like that. Let's make a couple of, uh, a couple of everything. Let's make a couple spears, a couple axes, a couple of picks for mining couple of slings and a couple more clothes since we have more guests with us. We have pl actually plenty of outfits, so let's skip that. Uh, oh, I always keep clicking the wrong one. There we go. So let's just make a couple of everything. All right, and so things are now automatic. We've created work zones just like in Foundation if you watch that playthrough. Uh, we're designating areas where people can work rather than where 
uh, people, you know, like instead of just saying, hey, cut down this tree, which we can do too. If we tell somebody to cut down a tree because we're trying to make more room for something else or we need the materials, they'll be more than happy to help us out. All right, let's try to capture a boar now. We're mostly going for research. Actually, we have a huge hunting ground around our camp, so anything that comes nearby is going to be attacked and uh, harvested for the, the community. Okay, we've got... Uh, Good raw meat numbers. Yep, all right. So food is good. I want to check and see if there's any sort of gathering that we can do nearby. Let me make this a little bigger. Oh, perfect. There's a lot of raw fruits and things over here. So gathering berries and such will unlock a milestone for us. So we're also trying to complete milestones so we can go and see more of the game, too. Though I would say for the game makers, it would be nice if just everything was just unlocked. That's all. It is good to maybe challenge the player by doing this once, but it's nice to just do everything at once, whatever you feel like doing without being hindered. Look at how big those fish are. Woo! Some big old fish, man. That's almost bigger than some of those cuts of meat. Wow. Alright, so now we have a capacity for 12. So I'm going to keep just building a few more homes than what we need so we can keep this show on the road. And eventually these homes will be deconstructed. So it doesn't really matter where we put them so long as it's close to the camp. And then we'll start upgrading to more permanent residents, such as the uh, the hut, which is a little more a little more permanent. Oh wow! Look at that! Everybody goes to work. Good. All right. Let's also make sure a few more people come over here to gather. I think some of those berries actually are harvestable in the spring. Looks like we're still gathering flint. Stone has been exhausted. Although we don't need as much of that. Flint is very important, though. So let's find some more areas to go gather that. There's a little spot there. And let's make some more rock storage for us. Just next to that one, not too close to the river. Trader has arrived again. What would you like and what can we trade you for? Uh, dog domestication. Well, doing some of that research is a good idea. It'll it'll save us some knowledge points. 150. <laughs> Each one of these slings is only worth five. Oof. That's tough. That's actually pretty good technology. Well, I'd rather keep those, to be honest. We got a good number of flint. Dry skin we have two of. I think we could get some more of that. Although I don't think we have much to trade with. Let's try to trade for uh, 20. We'll trade uh, two dry skin for three slings. And that way we can make some more slings out of that. Because I think... Yeah, we can make two sling per one uh, dried skin. So that'll work out perfectly. There's also a storm, which people can actually get hit by lightning. So that hopefully doesn't happen. <laughs> We'll see. Things are warming up, too. Looks like 28, uh, 27 degrees Celsius. Oh, boy. Luckily, that's nowhere near us. Storm is hitting our village on its first day. I hope everybody is okay. Day one of this video, and I hope not everyone gets eliminated by a storm. I hope we also find a some sort of a, like a woolly mammoth or something. I want to see a big, big, cool battle with our village. Oh, boy. All right, everything seems to be functioning quite nicely. Everybody's kind of moving around at uh, a good pace. Oh, that was weird. Oh, good, we got ten berries now. Very good. All right, let's go for... Dog domestication would be good. Tanning would be good, too. Hmm. Well, the thing that we could use off the bat probably is dog domestication. Any dogs that get near us sometimes, wolves, we can domesticate them, and then uh, they'll kind of just hang out with us, and they can actually attack... Uh oh, things like the cave lion. Uh oh, we got a cave lion attack now. Oh, he's he's going for the village. Red alert. Oh hell yeah, Greg is fighting him. Good job, Greg. I mean, Eamog, e get out of there, run. Damn it, no. Oh man, we got a man down. Hell yeah, beat that damn tiger. Guys, could we get some Fs down below in the uh, comment section for Eamog? That lady was that lady was holding the line. Damn, damn that cave lion. She stopped the whole camp from getting destroyed. What a trooper. 
We're going to build a monument in her honor. We'll call it a Wendy's. Okay, let's see. One knowledge point. Well, we're down a person. That should happen more often, actually, getting attacked and destroyed like that. Ooh, hello. I don't think we actually killed a buffalo before, have we? Maybe. I'm more interested in getting the research points. I think people only join us once a year, too, at the end of the year. And sometimes they can have babies, too. So it's not really that... It's not good, but it's not, like, the end of the world. We'll be losing plenty more people in the future, I can assure you. Okay, another bear over there. I want to try to hunt something new. Oh, there's berries over here. Oh, and there's like a plum tree there, too. Good. Alright, so the next thing is just to unlock more and more research. We'll be done with the Paleolithic era shortly. Just need to unlock spirituality and tanning. So let's just try to go do some more hunting to get research points. I don't know if the bison actually count towards anything. Because we uh, may have already killed one of those. Uh, looks like there's a donkey over there, though, so let's go attack that. They're pretty quick, so I want to bring the whole camp so they doesn't get away. And I don't think we've gotten that either. The, the, is it the Ebix or Ibix? However you pronounce it, it's over there. Oh, okay, apparently we didn't get a point for that. We must have got a donkey before then. Let's go for this guy. There he is. Yeah, that's why you want to bring the whole group. I thought that was a warthog. It's just a baby uh, woolly mammoth. Is that another cave lion? Oh, it's a dog. Yes, now we have our first pet. And a couple buildings need repair from dry skin, to which we have six. So we'll be okay. Somebody just needs to do some maintenance. Alright, so... Uh, research is going to be painfully slow now. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. Wow. Ancient bison and a bear got broed down. If they fight near us, we can actually use their, uh... We can actually, uh, grab those corpses for ourselves and, and, uh, butcher them and bring them back to camp. So that's really helpful. And we can't do any gathering of materials yet. No mining, anyway. So we'll just kind of wait. We'll have to wait another year. Food looks good. Eight, six, seven. That's good for the uh, eight people that we have. Let's take a look at our production numbers. Oh, yeah. Everybody's performing a task according to this. 75% workload in the fall. Good. Just want to try to get the rest of this research done, but we'll just have to kind of wait. Looks like two people have joined us. Oh, research is uh, plus 10, so we earned three research on that. Excellent. <gasps> awesome. Knowledge plus two, because we finished a, a milestone, too. That's very helpful. Let's go with tanning. Excellent. All right, tanning is now unlocked. So we researched one of our milestones, which was hunting and gathering. Another thing we can do is get to the... Mesolithic era, so if we do that, we get additional points. Survive for two years, that'll give us some research too, probably. 20 people in the settlement, 10 goats, 10 sheep, 150. Well, that's the ultimate prize, according to them. All right, 150 at least is our goal then. And how are we doing on homes? Oh, we got room for 15. Okay, so we've got plenty of homes now, and we got plenty of jobs going on. People should be out there gathering uh, flint. Let's assign a few more people to do that. Let's actually quickly gather the rest of that. And a trader has arrived. I think one comes fall and spring. So you have two chances. Oh, we could also get the spirituality for 140. Oh, wow. This guy's got a average commission. Let's see. What could we trade you? Skins, outfits. Our people would have to go naked. Uh, let's see. Flint pick. Oh, yeah. we got to start mining now. We can actually start mining. That's good. And logging, too. Don't think I'm going to have enough for the 140, no matter what we do. So I could pros probably get up to 80 just to unlock the next era. It, it's too big of a risk with all the materials that we have. I want to do it, but then again, we don't have anybody logging or anything like that. So let's get rid of those tools. We've at least made our way to 120. Let's give it a try. Let's live on the edge a little bit. Famous last words. 
All right, let's see. Bones, we should probably keep those. Actually, the, well, we can make flint tools now, so let's get rid of the bones. That seems good enough. Let's trade. Yes, we've unlocked spirituality, which means we can now get to the Mesolithic era with pottery research. We have to get 15 points in order to get to the next uh, to the next era. So that's good. We're just speeding up things, too, for terms of the video and make things a little bit more enjoyable. Okay, so now everybody's gathered up. Good. Everybody's got a home. Excellent. We've got our dog there. The dog always looks like a cave lion to me. I'm always like, is that a cave lion? Until it turns its head. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lots of hunting going on, too. Very good. Okay, let's make some tools, then. Let's go ahead and continue to make uh, three flint spears, three axes, three picks, and then we'll start mining. And I think I can designate one of these areas around here to mine. Perfect, a flint mine. There we go. So now that we've gathered some flint off the ground, our people can then mine more flint by uh, creating flint tools. So we at least have our first little flint mine. Was that a group of wolves just chilling out there? Uh oh. That could be dangerous if they decide to come over. Right, we're gathering more flint anyway, so good. A little maintenance on the homes will be done. We have no picks, of course, of course. We're making those things now. We're making wooden spear, or rather, uh, flint spears, flint axes. We can uh, start cutting down logs. I think those would be more fuel efficient, too. I don't know if they use that as a fuel for the fire, but I guess we'll see. Nice. Anything that comes near our camp, we get meat for, so that's good. And we've got all the drying racks full. How are we doing on fishing? Mm, looks like we've almost fished out everything here. Maybe we should make some new fishing grounds up the river. Anybody who's free, come on up here, do some fishing. We'll assign just one person to each section so it doesn't get a little, a little too overdone. But we got plenty of food for the winter. All right, hopefully we don't get bear attacked, wolf attacked, or cave lion attacked. Those are the three things that can really mess us up. And it looks like we got somebody doing mining over here, I think. <gasps> you can hear it. All right. Thuridon. Thuridon is finally doing a little, little little mining. Very good. That'll bring us uh, much more flint, and then we can make more tools and weapons faster. Oh, wow, they're already done, actually. Good job. Let's make some more spears, then. I think we have, uh, you know, I'm just going to make, all winter, let's make spears, and then when the spring comes, we can trade uh, with the trader for some big money. How much is how much does each of these make? One stick, one flint equals one spear. So we got plenty of all that stuff, so that's good. And then we have a few people already mining, too, so that's good. These actually, these get uh, cleaned out really quick. These flint mines don't last very long at all, from what I understand. And what I remember, they are over quick. Let's actually go into prehistoric mode and take a look. So is there any woolly mammoths around? I want to get one. we got to find one. I don't, I don't see any around yet, but that doesn't mean one of them is going to walk by. Could be pretty exciting to battle it out with a woolly mammoth in our next episode. We'll have to see. But let's continue on and make it to the next era. Oh, good. Now we've got our 10 spears. Great. We just need to get to 15 knowledge now, so that just means we need... Actually, I think there's a way to see milestones. How, does, how, do, you, how do you do that? Oh yeah, another oh another milestone completed. Excellent survival. We completed the two-year challenge. Yeah, oh, it's like a little picture. So if you click on that, it gives you a little screenshot. That's cool. All right, let's try. Uh, what is it again? The is it tech that shows you? I forget what I was looking for. It actually just slipped my mind. Knowledge progress. There it is. So if we get a certain number of if we f uh, kill four more cave bears we get another knowledge point if we build five more tents if we uh, gather our first tannin we get another knowledge point that type of thing so we may as well do random stuff in order to get knowledge points it's always a good idea so let's gather a little bit of tannin for the tannery that'll bring us up to eight and then what were some other things we could do oh yeah making a certain number of tools we'll do uh, hearth if we build three of those we get a knowledge point so let's do that just random things that we can do in order to unlock stuff faster. And that way we can get to the next era. So let's do that. Plus, more hearts mean people can make food faster, too. Because only I think only one person at a time can work at a fire. Uh, work area exhausted. Obtain flint. Okay, does that clear it now? I hope that... I think it actually cleared that work area. That's good. Let's continue to gather flint. 
Let's see. Anywhere else? Mm, nothing close to camp. Oh, wait. There's a little bit. Perfect. We'll go have somebody gather that, and then we'll keep working on the mine, too. And how are we doing on tools? Man, they can make tools quickly. The Raptorians know what they're doing. Our people are very uh, smart and very strong. They're making tools like no tomorrow. Let's make a couple more picks so some people can help out. And I think we have enough clothing, do we not? Let's make a few more clothes. Oh, we're already making clothes. Let's make uh, clothes with the rest of the stuff here. A new human was born, too. Good. Very good. And we made outfits. Excellent. So making all sorts of stuff. We need more sticks. Gathering some from over there. Anywhere else we can gather sticks? Oh, up here. Excellent. We've gathered ten tannins, so now we get points for that. So just five more points and we're good. We've made it to the Mesolithic era. That's going to be an absolute mess when we get there. A Mesolithic, to be precise. Neolithic is where it gets really fun. That's when we can start farming and building uh, walls and fortifications and bridges. That's going to get exciting. And then after that is animal uh, domestication and then uh, weapons such as sword making and archery. And then also eventually bread making. And the coolest thing in the game, hydropower, which is why I wanted to build on a river rather than the uh, ocean, or uh, the uh, river is better because a lake doesn't get that. So that's kind of cool. All right, what do we got here? Lots of meats. We've got more than enough. Flint. I, I guess I'll take a flint. And I will trade you a bone. A couple bones. And I think we're good on meat. Could use the dried skin. And we'll trade you the rest of the bones. There you go. Also, it'd be cool if trading gave you knowledge, too. Or every time he came, you got you got some free bonuses or something. That'd be kind of nice. Okay. So, eight sticks. Eight flint. Still making lots of tools. I can't believe how quickly our people can make tools. These guys are awesome. Raptor, you're on sp times eight speed. All right, fair enough. All right, let's make some more slings. 11 people living with us now. we got a capacity for 15, so four more people can come. Ooh, and it looks like we're hunting down something. We've designated for death a boar. Well, that was exciting. Definitely not a boar. Huh? Okay. I think we should build another house. We don't want to get too many more people than this before we start upgrading, because these do need maintenance, and eventually we will kind of run out of animals that just casually walk by the camp. They'll eventually kind of run thin the hunting grounds here, and we got to go do something else. So we don't want to go too much over 20, if, if anything. And I think each house holds three. So we'll get it up to, what is it, 15? So 18 capacity. Ooh, boar escaped. Looks like we need to keep doing more raw skin drying, but looks like the dryers are full. And we are ready for the winter already, though. Plenty of food. Actually, a lot of it's still drying. Seven meat there is still being cured. All right. And, oh, we can build totems now. So let's build a big monument here. Oh, this I think this looks different than it did before, maybe. Let's build ourselves a totem there. And that'll help our people's uh, spirituality for the next level and might actually give us uh, some more knowledge. So let's build a few more of those, too. So one thing that I can remember in previous playthroughs is that... Uh, oh, we can build our tanner there. Not yet, not yet. We'll wait. Previous playthroughs, I remember um, really running out a lot of uh, religion. People really are, really want that a lot in this game. So we'll make a, a totem column there. Ooh, four people just joined the settlement? That's crazy. Good thing we built... Oh, God, a bear. Where is it? Oh, he's running. He's hauling ass. Never mind. Huck Tuck, you better run, dude. Oh, damn. That was just a... Damn. He just sniped him. Just, that was it. Was he carrying berries? Oh, damn. Oh, well. That's the way it goes sometimes. But hey, we're in the Mesolithic era and we've unlocked pottery. Yay! We did it, everybody. All right, everyone. That is it for our first episode of Dawn of Man. If you want to see more of this, make sure you click or tap that like button. Let me know and uh, just show your support. Let me know how excited you are to see all the new updates. It's not yet out, 
The game is available for purchase, but the update's coming very, very soon. So by the time uh, we get our village up big enough to start creating weapons and going into combat, we will probably be there by then. All right, everyone, thank you very much. You have yourself a fantastic day. I'll see you next time for more. Thank you for cheering on the Raptorians and their many victories against all these crazy animals. And I'll see you next time, you crazy animals.